بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایڈوانسڈ مائکرو اکنامکس لیکچر الیون ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکس دا کنسیپٹ آف ایجورٹ باکس اینڈ پریٹیو ایفیشینٹ ایلوکیشن اینڈ فرام دا ایجورٹ باکس اف یو ریکال دا پریویس کنسیپٹ ہی واز دا اکلیبیم ان دا ایجورٹ باکس اینڈ ایکچولی اٹ واز دا پاسبل اکلیبیم آن وچ ان ڈفرینس کرو آف پرسن اے دس ون اینڈ ان ڈفرینس کرو آف پرسن بی دس ون از ٹینجن ٹو ایچ ادر اینڈ دس از ایکچولی دا اکلیبیم پوائنٹ کلیئر دس واز یور پریویس کنسیپٹ ہاؤ وی ریلیٹ دس اکلیبیم وتھ الجبرا اینڈ سلوشن آف دس اکلیبیم پوائنٹ Uh, this is a hand written uh, way out to just simplify the uh, topic which we are going to start that is uh, the general uh, algebraic solution and uh, here you see uh, this is equilibrium point and if we say at this equilibrium point there are the two persons or agents person a and person b this is person a and this is person b so person a at the equilibrium point is having x1 and x2 options and a person agent b is also having x1 and x2 and if person a trade so it will trade x1 a minus w1 a for x2 a minus w2 a it's mean person a will exchange the good for commodity 1 to commodity 2 or for commodity 2 to commodity 1 for getting the high level of utility or maximum satisfaction similarly agent b will also trade and because agent b here we say that agent b having x1 b and x2 b and uh, agent b will trade and uh, that will do exchange of x b minus w1 b for x2 b minus w2 b and uh, how we can algebraically define this equilibrium so algebra of general equilibrium of this pattern or this equilibrium is First, uh, we take the demand function of each agent and let's see that we take a demand function of each agent is presenting by x, j, i into p1, p2. Here actually j is uh, the uh, capital letter A and B while i are the numbers like 1, 2 and uh, uh, if we having the equilibrium if we having the equilibrium on such a point where aggregate demand equal to aggregate supply how we can say that aggregate demand mean aggregate demand equal aggregate supply and at this point equilibrium point and how this equilibrium point is obtained actually this happen when one uh, agent is exchanging for another good and the product of one consumer is the demand while the product of an other good is similarly having that supply of that product so if you call, recall the concept of Pareto uh, alloc uh, efficient allocation that was also same that one agent will be better off when another agent will be worse off let's discuss the concept of algebra algebraically if you say um, if you see the solution here however um, you first you consider it is difficult but it is too easy if you understand the concept and the solution of the equation is so much easy you just have to solve once the time and you will clear the understand the clearly understand the concept let's start uh, have we have to actually define the general equilibrium solution and uh, for defining you know for defining the general equilibrium solution is mean that 
as we know that uh, budget line um, we if you recall the concept of your first semester and third semester when we say that p x p x plus y p y equal to income if you recall this concept that how we do the solution of this concept similarly if we take the demand function that is x i g into p1 and p2 where i are the number and g are the letters a and b so uh, it's mean that we have to do the aggregate demand equal the aggregate supply so you can see here if there are the two joints x1 a and x2 a and uh, uh, there at the position at the equilibrium point of x1 a plus x1 b equal to their supply one w1 a plus w1 b and uh, similar will be the case it's mean that price of two commodities equal to their income level so and this is the same case for x2 and uh, you can solve this solution by this is w1 and you can put it here while you can when it will be here it will be minus having the sign of minus and when you put it here it will also having the sign of minus that you can see the solution here that uh, w1a when uh, gets on the left hand side when get on the left hand side like this we have minus sign because it was positive here and when we do it on the left hand side its sign change that is minus no similarly it's having the positive sign and when we change its side it is also having the minus sign so the final equation is equal to zero similarly it is for agent 2 the final equation is equal to zero no you can actually this is the solution which we present let's see it Actually, uh, we will say that in equilibrium, excess of the sum of excess demand for both agent must be zero. And how it will be zero? You see in this diagram that is is derived from this solution, and this is derived from this solution. So we say that excess demand must be equal to zero. And how it will be zero? it will be zero when we say that one agent must equal with what then other agents choose to supply and this is the main point to remember when this concept will obtain it will be obtained when one agent's demand equal to the supply provided by another other agent so we if we represent this excess demand this excess demand this excess demand by e i j into price equal to x i j into price minus w and uh, here if you recall x i j where j, j is actually representing the excess demand so this excess demand is not for one individual this is not for one individual one agent you can say that this is not for one agent it is more greater than a one agent agent so you can see here if is equal to agent a and agent b and so what will be the final solution of all the agents because uh, in actually there are agents more than two 
and if they are the true solution uh, agents then equilibrium will be like this and uh, that which is our point of basically uh, if you say point of general equilibrium here so z actually presenting all the joints collectively so all the joints collectively when having all the excess demand equal to zero it will be like this uh, so uh, all the you can create yes this is the concept that this is the solution when all the edges are having the demand is equal to zero next we have to this was the simple solution general equilibrium solution and uh, in which you just have to define the two agents and uh, two agents total income is equal to uh, zero and how they will get the equilibrium that way when both the uh, agents excess demand equal to zero and uh, this excess demand can be more than two individuals so we present it with z and in z is equal to a plus b plus so on it can it can be more than two agents as i say like this z equal to a plus b plus c and plus so on it can be but in uh, because in an edge worth box we are giving the concept of two individuals so z here z is just presenting the excess demand from two individuals because the edge worth box is also presenting just two individuals that is the main concept of edge worth box and so it is also presenting the excess demand from the two agents a and b and if this excess demand is equal to zero there will be equilibrium into the market next is a uh, concept of walrus law walrus law actually presenting this previous topic which we discuss it here and you just have to first see the definition the value of aggregate excess demand is identically zero this means that for all prices not just equilibrium prices the value of excess demand is always equal to zero clear so recall the concept and this is the main definition of walrus law that excess demand is identically zero this means that for all the prices the value of aggregate excess demand is equal to zero. so how we can identify uh, the satisfaction level are from the budget constraint of each agent for example here it's the budget constraint mean uh, uh, prices of both the commodities from both the agent side is equal to their income level you can see here price of one x1 plus price two x2 equal to their budget line and uh, how they can solve it that uh, this minus here and this gets minus here so it will be the solution that you see here this is the minus and uh, from this open when we open the equation one sign will give will we cancel out by another sign and we again simply gets the equilibrium and it is for the agent p when both the agents prices and income equal to zero and when it is equal to zero is showing that excess demand is always equal to zero so finally according to walrus uh, what is required for existence of equilibrium and uh, we understand concept that we need to have continuous demand function for the existence of equilibrium and for it you have to see consumer have convex preferences and we will get the continuous demand consumer have excess convex preferences 
consumer have max preferences and we will get continuous demand second more general question is if the individual demand here individual demand you can see here individual demand for each consumer is discontinuous this is the first that consumer have convex preferences and usual demand is discontinuous and consumer only a small component of the market and aggregate demand would be continuous and the solution would exist and how solution will exist <coughs> so we require aggregate demand that is continuous it's all about today well uh, general as more detail of general equilibrium in the market will be discussed into the next lecture